All right, guys, so I just cleared 1-30 hard mode on Joy Road's account, which is pretty much completely free to play ever since, like, you know, two years ago. And honestly, it was pretty tough. As you can see, Burnt Cheese and Cranberry died, but it is possible. And I want to share some tips and some guides for you guys to follow to kind of help you guys, uh, you know, work towards uh, beating 1-30 or beating some of the hard modes in order to farm these biscuits. All right, the legendary ones because the legendary ones can only be farmed in hard mode. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So starting off, a couple of the things that I want you guys to realize when you guys are playing episode one inside of the beasties is that there are no particular stars for each of the stage. You only get a clear reward or a clear star depending on your difficulty. All right. So whether it be story, normal or hard, okay. As long as you clear it, it's clear. There's no three stars to get inside of hard mode or regular mode or dark mode, regular mode. It's just one clear star. All right. So again, be even though like my cran brulee and burn cheese died, it still counts as a clear. And I am able to go and just use time jumpers to farm these things because again, I cleared it. So I want you guys to realize that thing and you guys have to take advantage of that because as long as you clear everything inside of episode one, even in the story mode, all right, even in the story mode, which is really, really, really easy, you're able to go jump straight to 1-30 and then try the normal mode or try the hard mode, even without clearing any of the other ones in the other difficulties all right so you don't need to go step by step just like how is it is in story mode or the dark mode inside of the world exploration you just need to go and clear everything in story mode again super super easy i've uh, yeah one hundred and ten thousand. that's like you know super super low that you can even reach as a new player so just clear all the way to story and you can take advantage of the normal and hard right away without going back to one dash one and try to do hard mode in uh you know in sequence you don't need to do that so now the reason why i say you guys can skip and you guys can jump towards something like 1-30 and i state 1-30 is because 1-30 is the particular stage a lot of people commented on my video where you're able to go and farm every single one of the biscuits all right so you have the ambush defense charge range you know uh the bomber as well as magic as well as support and healer here you have a chance of getting them all all right that's the reason why you want to go and clear this one and honestly speaking this one compared to the others are going to be a little bit easier and easier as a team to build to actually clear and the reason why is because as you guys can see the team that we are using is going to be a team that a majority of the players are already taking advantage of inside of the arena and that is going to be no other than Cranberle with Financier, Burnt Cheese as well as now in place of someone like you know Fettuccine as well as Snapdragon it is going to be someone like our Cream Puff as well as Pure Vanilla. The reason why Pure Vanilla is in here is because this particular boss does do you know uh the injury debuff uh decreasing your maximum hp and the reason why we're using cream puff is because cream puff is able to with the magic candy mine's only level 13 or joy rules is only level 13 and because you're able to increase the crit damage as well as have some insane amount of healing because your healing is going to be decreased by 65 percent all right so quickly going over the toppings you just need to have five solid almond five solid almond substance don't really matter all right and then five of the soda chocolate five solid almond for creme brulee i tried different bills guys you cannot do it even on a regular account my account i tried doing other bills too like th th uh three string raspberry two solid almond doesn't work just go with full solid almond it's gonna be easier it's gonna get rid of the headache as well as five of these juicy apple jelly for cream puffs to maximize on the crit damage bonus and then we do have the uh, treasures as enchanted robe whistle as well as the jelly watch and then the uh, enchanted robe is going to be applied to the cookies with the highest attack actually in this particular case and that is going to be for us cran brulee as well as financier quickly going over the biscuits the biscuits on this particular account is not very high the only one i actually leveled up is going to be cran brulees all the way to level 11 to maximize a little bit on the attack and the hp and the damage resist and still i died all right and you're gonna see that uh but the thing is you know 
it is going to be a rare one. It's not going to be an epic one. I have no epic ones applied to any of the cookies and none of them are going to be leveled up. I would say just apply random ones. Just maximize on the extra stats that you guys can get. Attack is really helpful for someone like Pure Vanilla to heal a little bit more. Creme Brulee, extra damages is, is going to be helpful to survive. Cream Puff, extra cooldown is going to be helpful to get the healing up in time to actually heal your cookies. And then Burnt Cheese, you know, something like cooldown or HP or damages is also going to help. I would say cooldown is probably the best one so that you can have the Keeper's buff uh, on your cookie, like Creme Brulee. And then for Finis here, attack helps, uh, defense helps, as well as damage assist helps, and cooldown also helps out as well. All right, uh, so biscuits are very simple, and you know, I just wanted to show you guys uh, this team in action and how I would approach 1 30 so you're not, you know, dying off every single time. And it, honestly speaking, for this account too, with my burn cheese being level 75, I didn't want to touch it too much is honestly not gonna be that like easy too so here we go all right guys so first of all uh in the beginning you can just spam your skill all right um i would personally recommend if your account is not a uh, buffed up like crazy like my you know main account i would highly recommend you stay away from the auto mode all right and uh put out 1.5 times instead and then here's the important part all right, first of all, you can always, uh, you can just spam your skills right now. Uh, in the beginning, you can spam your skills. I would personally recommend using Financiers with Crème Brûlée in the beginning at least. All right, and then here's the most important part. You need to kill the minions as soon as possible with the sword that is applied for you for the, uh, from the Elder Fairy. All right, so you do need to do that. You, that's the reason why I'm putting at 1.5 times speed because the, uh, the minions actually does do quite a lot of damage to your Cran Brulee. All right, so right here, I'm gonna keep the uh, skill here. All right, I'm gonna use it when I have, uh, you know, a Cran Brulee ready to go, all right, to maximize on the damage here. All right, we're gonna use Finisteer to protect and burn cheese as well. All right, and then soon it should be the minions right here, I think. Yep, the minions, we're gonna kill it right away with the sword, all right. And then uh, once we have a little bit of HP down, we're going to go and use uh, Cream Puff here, right here. Okay, get fully charged that right away. All right, and then we're going to use Cran Brulee again. We're going to use Financier. We're going to use Pure Vanilla. All right, try to stay away from using Cream Puff when there's maximum HP, all right? Uh, because you do want to go and uh, maximize on the healing uh, whenever possible. All right, right here, we're going to have to use it because our Cran Brulee is low. All right, we're gonna use Pure Vanilla to get rid of the injury as much as possible as well here. All right. And hopefully our cookie survived. Yep, we do. All right. And I think we're gonna be able to heal Cranberry. Yep, there we go. Oh. So right there, you see how we didn't kill the uh, minions fast enough and our Cranberry exploded. It's very important because I think Depending on the, sp uh, the spore dispersal as well, there's a couple of the, you know, extra damage as well. But not a problem, we have 50 seconds left. Alright, Crème Brûlée, Burn Cheese dead, but we're going to be able to use a sword and we should be able to finish it off, right? So it does about 500,000 damage right there, so there you guys go. Although, you know, again, our Crème Brûlée, Burn Cheese died, it's okay. We have Crème Brûlée still dealing the enough damage and then we're able to finish it off with the sword, alright? So again, now as long as you clear it, even though your cookies died, you can now go and, you know, use your time jumpers as well as the stamina to go and farm and try to get these legendary biscuits. Or for somebody who cannot clear it at all, go to the normal and then clear uh, some of these so that you guys are able to go and take advantage of the epic ones at least. Use those epic ones, make your cookie stronger, and then attempt at the hard one later on as you continue to level up your cookies. All right, some of the other stages, uh, especially like 1 1 or 1 2, 1 3, 1 4 right now, uh, those are the stages where you have a bunch of these uh, spores only. 
All right, uh, in that particular stage, what you want to go is with something like this right over here with Rebel, Fettuccine, Financier, Captain Caviar, as well as, you know, Snapdragon. There's a lot of different variations out there. I know some people are using, you know, mozzarella. Some people are using prune juice. I think prune juice is really, really good, too. Um, some people are using cotton, silver bell, you know, it's a lot of different variations, but this team works uh, great in tanking for Captain Caviar, buffing up Captain Caviar, and uh, allowing Captain Caviar to actually just go crazy uh, with the magic candy that he has received currently. The toppings are very simple. We have solid almond, solid almond, solid almond, searing raspberry, as, as well as for chocolate. No sub stats, right? Uh, we have no biscuits on three of them. Uh, Captain Caviar has a crit one here uh, with level one, rare one. Financier has the attack one with uh, defense, regular level one, uh, a uh, rare one, and then the treasures are going to be very simple. Uh, and the mindset that you play with uh, these particular stages is that, you know, it's okay for some of the cookies to die as long as we clear it. And again, uh, as long as you clear 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, and 1-4, you have all 8 classes that you're able to farm for. If you don't want to go individually uh, farm them, you know, or, you know, farm them from 1-30 because everything is, like, there. You know, you want a specific one, then you clear these particular stages with this particular team. And you're able to farm the legendary toppings. All right, so here we go. Let me just get the uh, stamina jellies, and then I will show you guys this team in action as well. All right, so Fettuccine is amazing because you know Fettuccine is able to taunt. Rebel is great because you do have the defense down, as well as the uh, decoys to also tank for you as well. And then Captain Caviar is great with the burst damage that he has right now. All right, Fettuccine kind of low right there. Popped immortality. Uh, Hopefully, Captain Caviar is able to clear that, and Fettuccine now is back to full health. All right, just need to make sure that we have Decoy to kind of tank as well. All right, and I think we should be good right there. So, Fettuccine is amazing, uh, not only for the regular world exploration, also for the beasties right now. Uh, Rebel is also a great choice. Uh, again, Decoy, weakness uh, debuff or, you know, uh, extra damage from the attacks. Uh, the decoys, Financier, buffing up Captain Caviar. Captain Caviar with that Magic Candy level 10 is amazing. White Lily works. You know, other DPSs work as well. But Captain Caviar, just that burst damage. Level 20, even better. All right, so uh, that's pretty much how I would go and approach the actual farming of these, uh, you know, biscuits as of right now. And then the other ones, I will go and slowly, uh, you know, give you guys some more tips on how to clear them so that you guys are able to get that 2,000 crystals. Uh, but just... For the farming, as at least right now, 1-30, 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, 1-4 is going to be the one ways that you should use to farm these legendary biscuits as of right now. Anyways, guys, hope you guys found the video helpful. Let me know down in the comments below what team you guys have used to clear 1-1 uh, through 1-4 or 1-30 for the uh, BC's Dark Mode Episode 1. Good luck to the rest of you guys, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.